Hello natural beauties, welcome to my channel. My name is Nat and today we are gonna go over my April monthly makeup bag. So we're gonna start the video with me showing you all of the products that I pulled to use for the month of April and then we will talk about all of the products that we used for the month of March. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for spending some of your precious time with me. Let's begin with an empty. So this is the SPF that I use for the month of March. This is Super Goop's Play SPF 50 Everyday Lotion. Um, last month when I was talking about this, I said it was my favorite SPF, but that's not true. Um, I It's not my favorite, but I finished it. Now, this one, on the other hand, is my favorite. It is also by Super Goop. This is the Unseen Sunscreen in SPF 40. It is water and sweat resistant. And um, I think once I finish my other SPFs. I think I'm just going to commit to this SPF because I think that using and trying new SPFs that I don't like as much as this one, that's kind of starting to seem like a waste of money for me. So this is going to be my April SPF. And I do have one more empty and I'm showing these because these were Christmas gifts and this was the one that I used for February and I did not um, show it to y'all that it was empty. And then last month for March, we used warm vanilla and I finished this one as well. I'm not going to pull any hand cream for this month. I just wanted um, Clara Barrera who gave these to me to see that I completed them. Now I am going to pull my my favorite um, foundation y'all this is my beauty blender bounce foundation in 2.20 and I'm gonna pull it for April I love this foundation y'all and I am also pulling a pressed powder this is NYX stay matte but not flat powder foundation in the color warm beige and I thought that we would go ahead and rotate this in so we can get some use out of it. Now for my highlight, I have pulled this Ofra palette that Clara Barrera gave me. This is called Hashtag Ofra Glow Signature Palette. And it has five different palettes. It's the color Star Island, Rodeo Drive, Bali, Pillow Talk, and Blissful. I do have Rodeo Drive and I may have had two of them. So here they are. They are gorgeous. Let's go ahead and swatch them so we can just revel in their beauty because they are so nice. And then we have one more right here. So just look at those. I love Ofra highlights, y'all. It's my favorite thing out of their brand that I have ever tried. Now, I'm super excited because we're going to talk about eyeshadow palettes. And this month, I pulled more than one eyeshadow palette. I am still going to do my eyeshadow palette rougelette video. So we're going to be working with four eyeshadow palettes. And... If you are new here, you should know I love Selena Quintanilla, and April is reserved for her in Texas. This is my eyeshadow palette, Me Siento Muy Excited, and this is for you, Selena. Uh, so I pulled this because um, April is Selena Quintanilla's birthday. She is the reina of Tejano music, and she is a Texas legend. Every April, we have a huge festival in her honor in Corpus, and they always have amazing music, food, and entertainment. So I went ahead and pulled this gorgeous palette. Let's swatch these bottom ones here. And I have used this. I think I used this maybe last year as like a dedicated palette. And, um, you know, you just can't really tell, especially with MAC eyeshadows, they tend to be like super compressed. So it'll be a while before you be able to see some actual use. But that is the first eyeshadow palette that we pulled. Now, the second eyeshadow palette that we're pulling is Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Palette. And this is just such an adorable palette and I am thinking like you know I mean it's April it's spring and pastels just jump into my head so here are these gorgeous ones um let's see I'll swatch this one and then we'll swatch this one 
Let's swatch this one and a purple one. And these are such fun shadows. Look at those right there. So that is my second eyeshadow palette. And my third one, I actually pulled mostly for the blush, but it's got some eyeshadows in it as well. This is my Deck of Scarlet edition number 12. And it opens right here on top and you can see the eyeshadows there and then a blush and a highlight. And this blush is the reason that I pulled this palette. It is just gorgeous and I was feeling it for um, spring. So I thought that I would go ahead and pull it because it's just such a pretty pink berry kind of fuchsia and it's different than most blush and I most blushes <laughs> and I love that so that's why I pulled it and then we'll go ahead and swatch this highlight here this has a really pink finish to it like an opalescent kind of pink and if you open this right here, it has two lip products. So I went ahead and pulled this palette. Now I pulled a face palette and my face palettes or face products are one of my favorite things to pull for this um, series. But this is also one of my favorite palettes. So instead of pulling multiple face products, I just pulled one big O palette. And here it is. So this is LA Colors Highlight Contour and Blush Kit. And I got this maybe like three, four years ago after Christmas sale. I want to say it was like 80% off. So I got it for like I don't know, 80 cents, a dollar ten, something like that. And if you look closely, I have pan in that highlight right there. You see it? So um, I'm thinking that I can probably hit some pan and make some dents in this, particularly um, like these right here. I can probably, you know, maybe even hit pan on because I love those to bronze up. But um, so this is what we're going to pull. Let me swatch these highlights for you because they are gorgeous and I love that it has a banana powder because you know you can kind of use that for and if you look at that um, I'm probably going to hit pan on that banana powder soon you see that so you can see like the use in this palette and again it's one of my favorites oops I dropped one of my lip products I'm always dropping stuff so let's go ahead and swatch and look at those gorgeous highlights. One more right here. Yeah. So, all right. Now, um, we're going to go ahead to primer. This is my eyeshadow primer. It is by Alamar. It is Pero, Pero Primero um, Primer. It is Long Wear Sticky Pigment Base. So, it's a pigment base. As far as eyebrows, I'm going to use my next NYX Bear With Me cannabis and sativa oil brow setter and this is clear and this is one of my favorite types of products for my brows because it just has this little tiny spoolie right there and it just you know is so easy to go through my brows now I'm also gonna pull this LA colors eyeliner and brow pencil in black brown and this is huge y'all and I got this at the Dollar Tree um courtesy of the recommendation of my friend Dee Dee's Beauty and More. So that's been great the times that I've used it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Now I am uh, inspired by all of you who consistently use nail polishes. So I have been pulling nail polishes. This month we are pulling this Essie and I don't know what the color is. It's, uh, oh, Laced Up Lilac in number 92. So we will use that for April. I pulled a brand new primer that I have never tried. I got this last year during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. This is Bare Minerals Prime Time Original Foundation Primer. And um, so I'm gonna try it this month. Let me know if you've tried this before. There are a lot of actual like face foundation pigment products by Bare Minerals that I really like and so I am really um, optimistic about this prime time because I liked one of their older um, primers but I can't remember the name of it 
Now, um, we're going to pull this Makeup Revolution Rose Fizz Makeup Setting Mist. And you can see that it's open, but I don't have a whole lot of use on it at all. So we're going to try and fix and correct that. Now, I also pulled a glitter. I'm trying to pull like more single eyeshadows, cream-based products. Um, so I pulled this because it's going to be springtime. And I think it would be cute just kind of along the face or the hairline. So this is a Tarte's Fairy Dust. And I think that it is adorable. There they are right there. So hopefully I will use that on camera with y'all or you'll see me pop up here with some glitter and stuff on. Now we're going to get into all of my lip products, which is one of the things, well, the thing that I dropped. So let's uh, talk about it. This is a Tarte's C Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask, and this is in Strawberry Jelly. And I bought this from Tarte uh, when the whole pandemic first started. They offered 30% off for medical, um, uh, medical workers. And so I included this in my haul because I love Tarte lipsticks. So we will use that. Now, I also pulled this Beauty Bakery Sugar Scrub, Sugar Lip Scrub, and this is in peach. Now, this was a little pricey, but wow, such great packaging. It's so nice and heavy. It smells amazing, and it has a lot of, like, grit in it. So, like, um, it's got a lot of, like, granules in it. So, it works really well, but I thought that I would pull that because, you know, we could definitely get some more use on it, and because I also pulled a retro lipstick. Nope. Let's see. It is a MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color, and it is from my Selena collection. I have four out of the five Selena products that I own, um, and that's because one of the other lipsticks I've actually used quite a bit, so it doesn't even have, like, uh, the pointy tip anymore. So I thought we would pull these. So here is the uh, lip glass in Beady Beady Bomb Bomb, and you can see the use that I've gotten on this already. There's a nice line right there. This is gorgeous. And I will go ahead and put this on top of my lipstick now because my lips are still matte. And speaking of my matte lips, this is the lipstick that I have on, which is also part of my Selena collection. It is the matte retrograde liquid lip that I was telling you about in Dame Un Beso. So here is Beady Beady Bum Bum. Let's go ahead and put it on top of this beautiful pink lip, y'all. It is so gorgeous and magenta. Let's go right in the middle. And a look at that. So pretty. Just gorgeous. So you can see exactly why I already have so much use on it. And this one is just gorgeous. As far as a lip liner, I pulled this Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani Firebird collaboration. And it's this one right here. It is a little bit lighter, but at least it helps me to precisely like use this applicator to go over the um, lip liner. Now, as far as the uh, Selena liquid, no, as uh, the Selena bullet lipsticks, we are going to be using La Reina, which is an amplified cream lipstick. This is it right here, and you can see that beautiful rose right there. You probably also see a pet dander <laughs> floating right by. Let's look at this. There's that very pretty chestnut brown. So we'll use that. And then this one is Selena Vive, and this is a cream sheen lipstick. And there it is right there. Again, it's got that beautiful rose on it. And... Here is this one. So a nice nude and a nice kind of chestnut brown. And then we have this hot pink to go along with it. Plus a gorgeous little pink dazzle glass lip glass. And one more lip product. This is a Becca and Chrissy Teigen collaboration in the color um, Metamorphic Gold. It is a glow gloss. And 
I pulled this to go with those neutrals right there and you can see it right there. Look at how pretty that gloss is, right? And I really enjoy this gloss by itself as well. Actually, this Beauty Beauty Bomb Bomb as well. So I'm excited about our lip products. Now, um, as far as my single products, I pulled this Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. This is in the color Vivid. And I had this in a Project Pan maybe in 2020, maybe 2019. But it is gorgeous and I have used so much of it. I will swatch it for you here, but it's that like brown, you saw it fall, let me pick it up so I don't waste it, like an army green bronze kind of color. And so I thought that could be really interesting to use with our pastel eyeshadow palette. So I went ahead and pulled this because it has been maybe a year since I've used this, y'all. And it's Hourglass. I bought it when they first came out, so I paid full price for it. So I don't want it to go bad. Now, uh, let's talk about some eyeliners or pencils. Yeah. Well, here is a lip liner. I don't know the name of this. Everything's been rubbed off, but I thought it would go well with the... Um, neutral lipsticks that I pulled. Then I also pulled this LA Girl Shockwave in um, the yellow and hopefully this will work well because the um, LA Girl liner that I used for last month did not work well at all. Now this is a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the color Juniper. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this as well. It's just a simple brown liner right there. And then uh, lastly, we have a NYX Vivid Brights Vivid Blossom Eyeliner. And this is a gorgeous uh, lavender. And again, I thought that would go really well with the eyeshadow palettes that we pulled. Look at that right there. Just so pretty, y'all. And lastly, we need a new mascara. So I am, for the first time ever, going to be using an Ulta Beauty La uh, Mascara. This is their Maximum Lashes Defining and Lengthening Mascara. So I'm really excited about that. That is what we are using for April. So here's March's makeup bag. Let's chit chat about what we used. First off, I don't know if you've seen my nails. They look a little janky right now, but... Oh my gosh, y'all. I love this nail polish. This is the a Flower Beauty um, a Berry Begonia. I was laughing because I'm like, this is, <laughs> this is the Flower Beauty Berry Begonia. And you can actually see a little bit of a line. Well, no, I guess I kind of, you know, moved it around. But such a great nail polish, y'all. Absolutely loved it. Another thing that I love. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so much fun. This is the Urban Decay Sweet Little Vices. And um, I got this after Thanksgiving and these lipsticks are so good. Um, this is just a really nice like pink and this is a golden molten golden like shimmery um, lipstick and I have fallen in love with it. It is like a bullet form of this only more yellow and I just I, it really is fun, y'all, and especially because I am not the biggest fan of gold, but these lipsticks have just um, been really good as far as the um, formula. The formula, and they didn't, like, move or get, like, gunky or anything, and, you know, they're just the perfect little size to, like, stick in a pocket or something, so those were awesome. I really enjoyed them. Now, uh, this Bare Minerals Skin Longevity, it is a vital power moisturizer with SPF, and I will probably continue to use this because you can see that I have, like, a blemish on my nose, so when I have blemishes, I really pile on the SPF to prove prevent them from scarring and this gives me such an incredible white cast but I ended up like putting foundations and powders and stuff over it and I also used this super goop 
There is something flying around. Uh, in Vin Invincible Setting Powder with SPF 45. And this does have some color to it. And it does give you some color. But man, this is just like the worst packaging ever. I think like after two or three uses, this completely came off. So I just kind of like pour a little bit of this loose powder into my actual like setting powder. And then I apply it that way. But... I mean, I'll probably end up just emptying it out into some loose powder because this, this ain't it, sis. It's really not. Oh, I found some lashes that I'm going to use for April. They were in this bag. But so um, these are them. They are from my Lashy subscription box. They are my lash bag in the style Fly. And they are vegan. Premium 3D Faux Mink False Eyelashes, reusable, vegan, cruelty-free. And again, they're from uh, my lash bag. And I like the style. I prefer the uh, ends of my eyelashes to be a little more like... Um, tapered or choppy but um you know these are really pretty so i'm gonna check these out because let's see the lashes that i pulled for march were these ioni lashes and i wanted to i already put them up um i did use these i love the ioni lashes especially because you can find them at the dollar tree for a dollar but i had so many pretty looks that I created with my Lashy Box 3D um, Silk Lashes, I believe. They were in the style Kitty, and they were so comfortable that I found myself forgetting that they were on. And um, because those ended up being so comfortable, I did not use these as much as I thought that I would. Because when I pulled these, I was like, ooh, I'm pulling some of my Oni Lashes. And they were great, but those Lashy Box lashes in the style Kitty that I got, they really blew me away. And it's even more surprising because I have not been a big fan of the Lashy Box lashes. But because of those, I did not use these Ioni lashes very much. Now, let me tell you what I did use a whole bunch. I used this Nomad Cosmetics Sydney Bathers Kiss of Sun palette. And this is just, I mean, everything about this works for my skin tone. I can use this to contour. I can use it to bronze. I can mix these two and create a real soft um, golden shimmery bronze. I can go harder on this one and add this and create more of a shimmer bronze, like maybe on my shoulders or down my decollete. But um, this right here is gorgeous as, uh, again, if I add it to this, it just gives my, almost like it gives my skin a little bit of life because it takes this bronzer and adds just a little bit of this a pretty little like highlight here. And it really just kind of made my skin look a little more full of life. And then this right here is just such a beautiful um, highlight. I do have this on as my tippy top highlight. It is gorgeous. And I love this palette. Let me give you a nice close up of that so you can see all the action going on in there. Because this baby's being loved. Now, um, I did use my Rare Beauty Always an Optimus um, base, and this is a great primer. It does have a brightening effect. It is gorgeous packaging, very luxe. It is a Korean-based uh, brand. It's made by Selena Gomez, or, you know, it's her line, and I really do enjoy this. It is not nearly as vibrant and brightening as the... Um, previous primer that I used, I guess, for February. Now, um, another Urban Decay product. Um, the first one I bought around the uh, Honey release, and you can see this is around the Cherry release. Now, Urban Decay not notoriously goes on sale, so I got both of these completely on sale, and I was so excited when I got this um, blush and highlight kit because I really wanted it. Again, I like blushes that are a little bit bit different like that um, Decca Scarlet one that I pulled and um, I was just stoked to be able to get this on sale and you can see some of the use and movement 
going on there. And I really enjoy this one. And I love pulling it, you know, and using it uh, when I'm feeling that something that's kind of like a mauve color. Now, um, I pulled this Glam Light, and I believe this is in eggnog. So this is from their Christmas packet. And this is such, I love Glam Light's lippies. They are so vibrant. And um, my one thing with them is when I put them on initially, my hair will stick to it. So they are a little bit um, tacky. And I know a lot of people don't like that. So I thought I'd mention it, but it does also come with a mirror on the package. Personally, it's not so sticky that I can't use that. So, um, oh my gosh, y'all. So I pulled this ABH Freya lip gloss and it is just gorgeous. Again, you can see how much I've used it and it is just so full of micro glitter. It is beautiful and I absolutely love it. I really do. I have another one in Venus and it's also really good. Now this right here is from Shop Miss A and um, I'm going to declutter this y'all because it's just too difficult on my eyes. Like I try and use it and it tugs at my skin. It feels a little dry and I mean I just turned 40 so um, I'm not about stuff pulling on my eyelids. So I'm going to toss that. Now, my um, foundation was, again, a really good foundation. It is my ColourPop No Filter Sticks Foundation. And I'm so close to finishing this, y'all. That's all that I have left. But this is my favorite stick foundation. It's been a very long time since I've tried stick foundations. I've never tried the Juvia's Place stick foundation. But I absolutely love this one. And I am in the color Light 67 In. And then we used my ABH Glitter Adhesive. This is the one that looks like a bottle of nail polish. And I absolutely love it, y'all. It is such a good um, adhesive. But honestly, I don't see this around much anymore. So I am so glad that I have it because I do use it frequently. Now, as far as... Okay, well, I'm missing... The pressed powder, oh, because it's in my purse. I took this with me today. So um, these are the complexion products that I pulled from March. And it's CoverGirl Clean and Fresh. And this is the liquid foundation. This is the concealer. And I have the pressed powder in my purse. I will not repurchase this one. I do not recommend it. It smells disgusting, disgusting and it oxidizes like a mofo. Now, um, as far as concealers, I would repurchase this. Same with the pressed uh, foundation. I just need to buy a lighter color. Now, I pulled this um, Loose Neon Pigment by Makeup A Murder from Instagram, and I absolutely love it. It is a little tricky to work with. Sometimes when I try and blend it out, it will just buff away. And sometimes when I try and set it, it will get stuck in the exact um, shape of whatever base or primer that I use to put on, put it to put it on top of. So um, I really enjoy it, but you know, a little tricky. Now, as far as my eyeliner, this was my Urban Decay Amber Eyeliner, and I really like this eyeliner. So um, I am absolutely, and it does come across this color. So I'm absolutely smitten with it, y'all. I really enjoy it because not all eyeliners come across um, vividly on my very um, wet, sticky, and allergic waterline. <laughs> so um, as far as this right here, this is a glitter lip gloss by uh, Hank and Henry and this one is called The One and this is a really nice lip gloss. My only issue with the Hank and Henry lip products is never the color, the pigmentation, the um, formula. It is always the amount of product that comes out on the actual applicator. But you know there are ways to deal with that. It's just a little inconvenient. So um, here we have the LA Colors uh, liner that I told you about that did not work very well at all. And um, I think that I might just declutter this, y'all. My thing is that I'm always like, you know, oh, I can use it and then set it with an eyeshadow and that'll help, like, help the vibrancy. But I don't know if I should. Maybe I should just get rid of it. Let me know what y'all think. I'm probably not going to declutter it unless y'all tell me to. <laughs> 
And then we have this uh, MAC lip liner, and I can't tell what the color is, but, um, you know, I mean, it's great. I do my best to not sharpen my stuff as much as it seems to need it, because I feel like that kind of wastes some of it. And then we have my NYX lip liner in the color Peekaboo and Neutral, and this is one of my favorite um, liners. It seems to go with so many of my neutral and natural lip um lipsticks. And then my brow products for last month were the ABH Brow Wiz products, and these are really, really good. I've noticed that this is getting better the more of the product that I have used because it doesn't have as much on the actual wand. So I really enjoy these, and um, I can understand their popularity. And then we have my Sephora Spring Break Lipstick, and I love this formula. It is such a beautiful color, but the formula is just so like um, moisturizing and um, silky. It's just very, very comfortable. And um, this lipstick never smudged or uh, came off. It didn't come off on my teeth. So this is the only one that I have by Sephora, but I am so impressed by just that one lipstick. And now we have my Essence Fruit Kiss Caring Lip Balm with 10% almond oil. I have a pineapple and I really enjoy this. Um, I will probably repurchase this. And, um, you know, I had almost given up on any chapstick or, you know, like lip moisturizer other than actual chapstick, you know. And then we have this Essence Matte style super last um eyeliner and i loved this eyeliner y'all i almost pulled it again this month but i was like ah eh, you know it's spring i'm feeling pastels but i really enjoyed this eyeliner and i think it's under five bucks it is the essence super last eyeliner in matte black so really enjoyed that and then my natasha denona number 20 sandy beige um lipstick I mean, it's it's a classic. I absolutely love it. It's such a good natural, neutral lip for me. But that's everything, y'all. So that's what I used for March and what I'm using for April. Let me know. Do you have any of this stuff? What are you using? Do you do a shop my stash? Let me know because I love seeing what people have, what they used, and what they thought about it. So let me know, do you think I should declutter this or should I continue to try and use it? Thank you all so much for joining me. Just know that I am sending you positivity and I hope that you're doing what you love. I will talk to you later. Bye, y'all.